let's learn some of the basics if we're using Adobe Illustrator to do some laser cutting and fitting some plexiglass together. So like think about if you're making, let's say an animal or a plant shape, some sort of shape out of plexiglass, like a 3D shape, like a puzzle that you're fitting together, the pieces are gonna slide together, or you're gonna glue them together, those types of things. I'm showing you some tips here on, on how you can do that in Adobe Illustrator. So we have three different things here. We're gonna do like these slot templates. We're gonna make an object and put slots in those templates. And I'm gonna show you a completely different idea here too, of doing like a, a hole and a tab type thing. And I got some skills to kind of tell you along the way. So as you're doing this lesson, you should be watching this on your Chromebook and then you're following along with me and you're doing exactly what I'm doing in Adobe Illustrator. So you're gonna have two screens in front of you. Get your Chromebook out, uh, watching this lesson and then get the design lab computer up and follow along with me step by step. So first step. So this is what how your thing's gonna look when we're done. First step, let's, oopsies, let's start a new file. And our laser cutter, our plexiglass comes 12 by 24. We can use about half of that for this project. So let's do 12 by 12. Make sure you're on inches, not points. You need to be on inches. Click create. So another skill I want to show you is we have to put in show grid. If you notice on mine here, this shows the grid. If you notice each square, each big square is an inch. Each little square is an eighth of an inch. So I go to view, this is something I always want you to remember in terms of how to bring this up, show grid. Now I can see this grid and I can be more precise with creating my things. <clears throat> Next thing I wanna do, a benefit for, or a, a good thing to have on for us, I go to view, I show, and I click snap to grid. What that means is when I draw stuff, it's gonna snap to the little squares, kind of like a magnet, which that's important and beneficial for us because when we're making plexiglass, we want our slots to be one eighth inch. And then um, by having that on, it'll automatically kind of do that. So first step, let's, let's just make some slots here. I'm pushing control plus to zoom in. I'm clicking my rectangle tool and now notice it, see how it's like snapping in like a magnet for us right now. That's good I'll eventually turn it off like if I'm drawing curvy stuff. I'll, I'll turn that off now You gotta think about your slot. Well the slot the plexiglass is eighth inch thick So I have to have an eighth inch thick thick slot and then the distance of the slot is going to depend on what you're making for right now Let's just make it four squares Fill you turn your fill to nothing. We don't want any fill Yes, we want stroke. We're gonna come back and do something with that a little bit. So now I have one template, one like slot hole template kind of thing. And now watch, I highlight it. I press Control C, I press Control V, Control C to copy, Control V to paste. And what I want you to do is now notice when I put my arrow to sort of move it, I'm on my normal pointer. I'm grabbing in the middle and this dot, that's how I can move it. And now I can turn it. Notice I got those curvy arrows. And I'm going to turn it by going like that. So I want you to show me you can do that. And then put put text in here telling me that this is like the slot template kind of thing. So make sure you name, number all these, name and number. So that's already done. That one's pretty simple, right? So now let's go to our curvy tool. Notice this says curvature tool. And notice when I'm drawing... It won't let me click, look, I'm trying to click in between the squares and it won't let me do that. So that's why I'm saying, when you use the curvy tool, most of the time you're gonna to wanna to turn snap to grid off. We want stroke, meaning we want, we want an outline. We don't want fill, let's turn off that fill. Now I'm gonna draw, uh, it's not gonna look pretty, ladies and gentlemen. This is not gonna be a, a pretty animal, <laughs> but, I, I don't know what kind of animal this is. Uh, I want to show you here. Now, notice if I see how it's like curving down. Let's say I want it to be a sharp, a sharp edge there. I double click. Now look at, see how that's a sharp angle? So I, I just want you to, to realize that um, you can double click and you get like a sharp angle. Yes, this is a beautiful animal. 
double click there because I want a hoof coming up. Double click here. Let's give it a belly. Double click there. Yep. Oh, yeah. That is a beautiful animal. I connected it. I had no fill. I had stroke. Now check this out. This is what I want to see you do. Let's say this thing is going to have wings. Whatever this ugly thing is, it's going to have wings. I made this template, so now I can highlight it. Control C, Control V. I can paste it, and now I can put it in my object. What we have here, this is okay. I'll explain a little bit why exactly that's okay, but what we did there, that's okay. Now, let's say I want to have... This thing's going to have a beard or something. Control C, Control V, paste that other one in, and I can angle it. I want to angle it out this way. Shove this in there. So what the laser will do is the laser will cut these out. It'll cut both those out, and it'll cut out this whole shape. And then <clears throat> we can put our, um, our little plexiglass slots in there. So we named that slot in object. So that's how you do that. One thing I want to show you real quick. One thing that's important, now watch. I'm going to try and move this. Notice how I move it, and these didn't come with. So we have to do something called group. We want to group these objects. So I, I click here. I highlight. Notice how all this is highlighted now. So I go to object group that's important once once you kind of have your parts where you want them you got to group it so now notice i can i can move this whole thing together as one so that's something i expect you to do at some point you got to group group it together and if i and i can also ungroup this so i click here i can go to object ungroup if i wanted to ungroup it but i don't want to right now all right let's make the last thing so the last thing how this works Zoom in here. These are two separate pieces. I got this box piece and I got this other piece. The laser is going to cut out these. This is going to be a hole. And then this tab is going to fit in the hole. So that's my goal is trying to make that. So what's really, really, really important, what you're going to have to show me, is that this stuff has to line up. So notice these two things are the same size in terms of width. One, two, three. So I got one, two, three, and then one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So you gotta, that's why we show the grid, just so we can see that kind of stuff. So I go here for the top one. Uh, let's see here, I'm just gonna make it, and actually I'm not on snap to grid yet, so I'm gonna cancel that. I wanna snap to grid so I can be really precise. I'm going to make that, let's say, three, three inches wide. I'm on the rectangle tool, by the way. And now I can draw my rectangle. One, two, three, four. Gap of one, two, three. And then there's four there. I don't know if my numbers are going to be correct here, but it might not be evenly spaced. One, two, three. Okay, well, I ended up working out. Good. Now... A couple different ways I can do this. You could you could draw a box again and then put I could draw tabs on top of the box. Like this is this is a method that I could use to do that, but now here's a problem. This is something you need to realize. The laser is going to cut this out because the laser sees this line here. The laser is going to cut this off and this tabs is going to fall off. So we have to delete this line. So I could, a couple different ways I can do that. I'm personally not very good with it. You can use the scissors tool. I think you can use this um, special selection tool, the second pointer. And like I said, I'm just, I don't know, I'm not very good with understanding that selection tool, that mouse uh, and the scissors. But I was able to delete that top line. So now what I can do is I can just go back to my straight pen tool. I left click release hover over. Now I'm just going to do the rest of it this way just so you can see two different methods of doing it. Again, so this method I drew the box and delete a line or I can just use my straight pen tool 
and just left click release, move it over, click, go up, click, move it over, click, go down, click, move it over, three, click, go up, click, move it over, click, go down, click, move it over, boom. Another thing that's important is I should group this. So I highlight all this, this thing here, I group, object group, that's grouped. This thing already should be grouped, but I'm just going to make sure, oops, make sure it's grouped there. <clears throat> Let's get my label, tab and hole. That's what we'll call it for now. Boom. All right, let's check back, see if anything else I missed here. We made the canvas, we showed the grid, we understand the grid, we snapped the grid, we used the curvy tool, we could use the straight pen tool, template, angle, slung object, tab hole method, all right, we did all that. So now, my last thing that I have for you for here, the laser will actually not cut this out. The reason why the laser will not cut this out is because of the thickness of the line. When the laser see when the laser sees oh that's one point thick, the laser won't cut that out. The way that the laser cuts stuff out is when it sees that it's point zero zero one. This is what it needs to say. Whenever we're ready to cut something out, it needs to say point zero zero one pt. So I press enter. Now look at how thin that line is compared to this line. So when I am designing and making stuff, I'm going to use like um, a thicker stroke when I'm designing and making stuff just so I can see it better but then once I'm done making it then I'm going to change it so watch I can highlight all this here and I can change the stroke to 0 0.001 pt pt boom that's how you do it ladies and gentlemen make sure you save it properly and you'll have me take a look at this so once you complete this exactly as I'm showing here you call me over and I will check off that you completed this practice at this point, you have a good solid base of information here on how to make this kind of stuff in Adobe Illustrator.